The secret agent was awake. But he had been that way for several minutes before making any perceptible movement. Spies, secrecy, censorship, corruption. Some of the more distasteful nutrients in South Africa's daily diet. But these are also the tools that sharpen the blades of satire. In a way, it's a two-edged sword because the, the, more, the tighter that focus gets, the tighter that the surveillance on that kind of work gets, the, 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 the sharper the satire gets and the more it has to be focused on a target, you know. Um, so while it's like Peter Dugay says, you know, they write the script for you but with the, because so much of it is just absurd. 200 kilometers into the plane, I looked up ahead and I saw a strange figure. For over 30 years, multi-award-winning theatre legend Andrew Buckland has been at the forefront of physical performance in South Africa. He has worked as an actor, director, writer and educator across theatre, television and film. His new one-person show, Laugh the Buffalo, provides a darkly comical send-up of our controversial Protection of Information Bill. I was fortunate recently to do a 10-day Vipassana silent meditation, 10 days of silent meditation, which was profound and um, quite hard, you know. But it brought up the whole idea of secrets and of uh, speaking and not speaking and holding information and being able to verbalize what it is that you feel about what's going on around you. And at the same time, the immediate, you know, the kind of implications for that were about the protection of information. Uh, bill and the implications that have that those have you know for for everybody you have been selected to come to this remote location a master at blurring the boundaries between object and physical theater buckland has also performed with cirque du soleil he received a standing ovation award at the National Arts Festival this year for his long-standing contribution to the arts. In Love the Buffalo, he uses his expertise in mime, aided only by an ingenious prop that has both literal and metaphoric resonance. I first just started with a kind of neutral toilet seat to create this, the, the image of the human being inside that toilet seat, which sets off so many other kind of resonances. Then when I started to play with it, I thought it's a really interesting object, yes. you know? And then to combine that with some of the features of the story, um, I, my wife, who directs the show, called it avoidance technique. This is the first time in many years Buckland has collaborated with his life partner, award-winning director, Janet Buckland. She's got an amazing uh, dramaturgical sense that she can structure things and say, you're wasting your time on all of this. There's the, the gem, and if you put that this with the other piece, then you've got something. And in our high-tech-driven era, he succeeds in bringing back the sheer joy of physical performance. As you say, the kind of the technology that's available now, it's so extraordinary, magical, you know, but it, in a way it's not, it's exercising your imagination in a very different way. And this live, the presence of the actor and the presence of the audience together, imagining, playing together, that I can never die. And while Laugh the Buffalo looks through the mirror darkly, it also provides a sense of hope through humour. Hopefully the laughter and the, the sense of everyone else around you in the audience um, uh, involving in, you know, being involved in the same moment and responding in the same way gives you a feeling or hope of, of thinking, you know, if there are enough of us are active and do speak these things that are, are unspoken, then maybe we can make a change. Laugh the Buffalo runs at the Baxter Theatre until the 30th of November. Hazel Friedman, Morning Live, Cape Town.